Hey everyone, welcome back, and as always, we're going to go balls deep. Today's video, we are talking about Shisui Uchiha. This was requested by our subscribers in the voting poll of our community tab. Be sure to vote next time and let me know your opinions to be featured in the videos or get the content you want. As always, I must give you a fair warning for this one because I am definitely going to butcher some pronunciation errors of these Japanese words. Cue the intro please and let's get this started. Okay, just to mention to you guys, this video is sponsored by Anime Ryo. They sell anime clothes such as Naruto clothing, and you can use a discount code of ABD Squad to receive 10% off. The clothes is pretty lit. I wear them time to time, and people stop me like, "Oh God damn, you look good!" So just check it out. So as always, let's cover the name of the character first. Shisui's name has two meanings. The word "she" means death, and "sui" means water. Thus, Shisui would mean death water, which I'd say is a a metaphor and reference to his death by falling off the cliff into water. Kijimoto created Shisui in conjunction with Itachi Uchiha's betrayal story and must have thought of this idea of Shisui sacrificing himself for Itachi to achieve the Mangekyo Sharingan as a result. He must have decided to give the character name Shisui since he generally has named every single Naruto character over a trait the character has or attributed to due to their path. Initially, with the first draft of Itachi Uchiha's story regarding the coup that destroys the Uchiha clan in the end, it was actually going to involve Itachi being Konoha's secret agent who killed his clan under their orders. Itachi was originally conceived to be a leader of Konoha's special assassination and tactical squad, which would have been called Itachi Squad and have around 70 people divided into four teams. These teams would specialize in assassination or other operations. However, However, this whole idea was scrapped because Kijimoto favoured the idea that Itachi should work for the Akatsuki. Thus, to create the idea to go forth with Itachi leaving the village and joining the Akatsuki, he created a new plotline where Shisui is a prodigy of the Uchiha and would be Itachi's best friend who trains him in his childhood, as well as eventually sacrificing himself for Itachi's character to unlock the Mangekyo Sharingan and slaughter the clan with Obito. This, in my opinion, obviously was the better choice because it would end up making Itachi's character an anti-hero instead of the villain, and also it would provide character development through Shisui. Okay, something I must admit to you guys about why I love Itachi's character is because of his crows. I mean, the way he uses it, the way it's animated, and how he makes it seem cool, epic, and you know, kinda saucy. The amazing thing most people don't know is how Itachi gained this trait is from Shisui, his best friend. Say what? As I stated before, Shisui Uchiha was a prodigy. In fact, he actually trained Itachi and Sasuke whilst they were young. Shisui had much more experienced than both of them and was advanced in everything. In the data books and novels of Naruto, it is stated that Shisui kept several crows so that he could use them for various jutsu. The crow were faithful to their owner and were valuable partners. This is why when Shisui gives his Mangekyo Sharingan to Itachi, he can call upon a crow instantly as if it was tamed. Shisui and Itachi both use crows because they realized the substitution jutsu that regular ninja use such as the wooden log, they are just way too conventional and predictable for a ninja to see coming. Shisui was so fantastic at deceiving his opponents such as using the body flicker technique which I'll dive in deeper into the video, but in the novel Itachi Shinden Book of Bright Light, and it's canon by the way, it explains that Shisui and Itachi were training together one day and and they saw a flock of crows flying in the woods. They realized to themselves, God damn, that you know, they're flying and it looks like they're really great and distracting. They realized that using a wooden log was meager compared to a flock of crows since they flew in many directions. Therefore, their opponents would be surprised and thus create an opening in a fight. Itachi was only six years old at the time and Shisui being only a couple years older when they figured this out. This only demonstrated their advanced thinking compared to regular ninja and why they were overpowered in Genjutsu.
Okay, we all know how gifted Itachi Uchiha was and how he was the most respected member of the Uchiha clan in terms of his abilities, but that was only after Shisui was not around. Shisui Uchiha was one of the most feared ninjas from Konoha and one of the most powerful Uchiha clan members to ever exist. It is said that Shisui is the descendant of Kagami Uchiha who was a ninja involved in the first and second shinobi world wars and part of a team with Danzo as well as Hurizen the third Hokage. If you want to know more about the ninja wars since it's so muddled in Naruto's history and you know it can get confusing, we have an entire series on it and you can check it out after this video. Shisui became Jonin when he was only 11 years old and was captain of his own team which he leads. During the third great ninja war, Shisui Uchiha was 7 and in this war he witnessed his friend die without him being able to do anything to save him and he left him behind. Shisui admits in the novels that he may, he may not have literally killed his friend but he confessed that he had been jealous of the boy's abilities and this jealousy motivated his refusal to help him. This guilt he felt was enough for him to awaken his manga kyo. Due to this experience, he unlocked the Mangikyo Sharingan at 7 years old which makes him the youngest Uchiha member in the Naruto universe to unlock the Dojutsu. To put this in perspective, Sarada Uchiha in Boruto is currently 12 years old with only one Tomo in her Sharingan and this is the tuning exams. It kind of shows you how broken this dude was. Obito gave up his basic Sharingan to Kakashi upon his supposed death. So keeping all of this in mind, it actually blows your mind on how broken Shisui Uchiha was in terms of talent. He already had S class techniques and enhanced the body flicker D rank jutsu into something that ninjas feared. Shisui use of the body flicker is much different from let's say when Jiraiya or Kakashi used it. Shisui became known as Shisui the body flicker because he could generate clones of himself whilst making all of them use the same technique to confuse and destroy his opponents with ease. He used the body flicker to an extent where it seemed like he's so fast you cannot see him. He was so proficient at the jutsu that he be it became something of his own. Donzo also proclaimed to the fact that Shisui was the strongest Uchiha compared to anyone for the time period. I mean guys, it just doesn't end there. Shisui was the best user of Genjutsu compared to anyone. He was feared by all countries because of his skills. For fighting, well, we all know he was phenomenal. Shisui taught Itachi Taijutsu, kunai tricks and was a sensei type figure to him. We can use an example of when a whole hidden miss ninja unit which was led by Ao of the Byakugan immediately retreated and lost to him in a genjutsu when Shisui appeared in front of them. Shisui didn't even really have eye contact with them and was at a distance. His genjutsu was so advanced compared to anyone that Ao even mentioned before they retreated that he needs to remember Shishubi's chakra color so they can prevent any conflict of meeting him again. Oh yeah guys, I forgot to mention, remember guys to smash the like button, subscribe and hit the notification button as I cover Naruto and Boruto all the time on this channel. Next week I'll be doing Urashiki, Momoshiki and Kinshiki for you guys and we will also post Super Saiyan and things you didn't know about Whis so just remember to do that. So I know what you're thinking right now, how did Shisui lose to Donzo or why did he decide to take his own life we, when we have learned that how broken he was compared to everyone else right, this doesn't make sense. Well the anime didn't really do a great job explaining it since there are three different versions we have been shown that, and that's what's confusing people to be honest. The one from the game is that Donzo arranged a meeting with Shisui and he got distracted by the numbers. Donzo stole his eye in the fight but how? Shisui is OP right? Well that's where the plot holes start arising. So then we get a second version in the anime story. Donzo used Izanagi against Shisui and put him into a corner and Donzo got his eye. Shisui had no knowledge of Donzo having Sharingan and caught him off guard completely. But in the final and canon version that fixes the plot holes and disputes why Shisui had to do what he did for Itachi in a plausible way is in the Itachi Shinden Book of Dark Knight. 
So you're probably thinking, why did he take his own life? That doesn't make sense, right? So before Shisui can use his Koto Amatsu Kami on his target, Donzo summoned him and Donzo tells Shisui he knows everything he has planned and that changing for Goku's mind would be useless because there are too many Uchiha that support the idea for the coup. Shisui starts arguing with Donzo but in the meantime while doing this, Donzo had already ordered one of his men called Yoji Aburame to poison Shisui with his insects. Because Shisui was poisoned and weakened, Donzo was able to take his eye and Shisui inevitable death was confirmed. He was definitely going to, going to die from this poison. This made Shisui decide to meet up with Itachi quickly and explain everything to him. Shisui also had to make it seem as though Itachi did not kill him or Donzo did because if he told the truth to everyone then it would have further tarnished Itachi's name and the trust of the clan. It would also start a civil war if they found out Donzo had killed him since the Uchiha would find out their own men died by the Konoha leaders. So a civil war would have started and other nations would attack and the snowball effect would happen. So Shisui had no choice but to do what he had to do. Shisui was able to use Sasano because it made money and helped drive sales of the video games. This occurred be- What? Huh? Uh, oh shit, we're not doing that right now, my bad. In Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution, Shisui can use Sasano even after Donzo stole his right eye. So in the Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 video game, Shisui Sasano are given a complete body Sasano forms. These were designed by Kijimoto himself, so clearly the creator of Naruto must have thought it was possible for Shisui to do it if he was survived, or maybe it was something else, who knows. Like how can Shisui knew Sasano exactly right? It seems to be possible because Madara Uchiha knew Sasano without eyes and in the fourth data book it stated that acquiring Sasano's technique is through manifesting both Mangekyo Sharingan. So essentially if you unlock the Mangekyo yourself then you would have the ability to use it. Even if you think about it with what the abilities are based on, it kinda correlates with the anime and doesn't create such a huge plot hole. It goes even with the myth. Sasano was born from the nose of Izanagi, Amaterasu was born from the left eye of Izanagi and the Tsukiyomi was born from the right eye of Izanagi. Hence Sasano is the nose so Madara Shisui can use it without eyes. It kinda makes sense and that's why he has the ability, just accept it for what it is guys. Let's talk about the Koto Amatsu Kami. Just like all other manga Kyosharingan abilities, it takes from Japanese folklore named after a phrase called Distinguished Heavenly Gods and it refers to the five Shinto gods which came into existence at the time of creation of the universe. As I explained earlier that Shisui was fond of crows and he placed his Sharingan within one to give to Itachi, this is all linked and tied together through the myth of the three-legged crow called Yato Gorosu. Yato Gorosu is a raven or a jungle crow construed as evidence of the will of heaven or divine intervention in human affairs. And what does Shisui's Genjutsu and Sharingan involve? That's right, the human affairs of Uchiha clan vs Konoha. Shishui's eye represents an intervention and catalyst to Itachi's actions afterwards and was probably inspired from this story. The Koto Amatsu Kami is revered in the Naruto universe. Donzo used the ability to cast it on Mifune during the Kage meeting and he wanted to become Hokage himself. He used the Genjutsu without even having to make eye contact and under his bandages. The Genjutsu itself is absolutely broken since we know it can be cast without sight. The Genjutsu is complicated because it's not technically mind control but more like inception. The mind of the user that it has been casted on won't realise that they are being controlled or even making a decision that the caster has put upon them. It essentially alters the way someone thinks to conclude to the decision the Genjutsu wants. It kinda like the way the movie Inception displayed the idea. The user under the Genjutsu will still act out of his own free will but eventually they will create an action according to the order given to them. This is why it's the most powerful Genjutsu ever created because you would not know you're under it and the ninja around you would not know either because you would be acting as normal.
It was explained in the anime that Kabuto tried to revive Shisui but he could not find his DNA or the body of him to do so. But honestly speaking, Kijimoto must have felt th there was no point reviving him for the plot, much like what he felt with Jiraiya for Naruto. Even more importantly, it would just destroy the whole plot because Shisui was literally one of the strongest Uchiha to ever live. It would not make sense for his Sharingan to exist again in the war with the plot revolving around Madara being revived. Revived. Shisui having his genjutsu, all he would have to do is use it against every single person that was revived to actually protect the leaf instead of fighting and Kabuto's plan would utterly fail and he would look like a freaking idiot for reviving Shisui. You stupid. No, no. What's 9 plus 10? 21? You stoop. One easy theory to fix the plot hole is just to say that Shisui or Itachi used the Amaterasu to burn his body and his ashes and you know he it all flowed in the river he became ashes and it, he dropped from existence he would 100% be gone deleted. So I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new about Shisui you didn't know. Be sure to check us out next time as we are covering Whis, Momushiki, Urashiki, Kinshiki. Follow me on Twitter to be in the know of what I'm producing and also smash the like button and I'll see you next time.